Hello, welcome to CU TV. Today we're joined by the former Deputy Prime Minister and former leader of the Liberal Democrat Party, Nick Clegg. His party has been at the forefront of the pro-EU campaign. In the event that we leave the EU, what do you think the future holds for the lives of young people? I think the principal effect would be that it would limit the opportunities for young people in the, in the future because um, uh, I can't really think of any major question facing uh, the younger generations of today and indeed in the future uh, which doesn't require in some shape or form a kind of international European response so whether it's whether it's uh, how to give young people economic opportunities clearly remaining part of the world's largest border, borderless marketplace and the right to study travel and work elsewhere in the European Union is essential but also other things you know how are we going to keep our streets safe in the future? How are we going to keep our air clean, our water clean? How are we going to measure up against the new economic superpowers in Asia and elsewhere? All of those things, which are the big challenges, extremism, terrorism, cross-border crime, all of those big challenges which will loom over the next generation uh, require countries in our European neighbourhood to work very closely together. What do the Lib Dems need to do to regain the trust of young voters, many of whom are disillusioned by the party's failure to firstly vote against tuition fees and to secondly push for proportional representation. I think we can be fairly accused of the former, but I don't think we can be fairly accused of the latter. That was put to a referendum, uh, the, uh, the issue of proportional representation. Is AV really proportional representation though? Uh, no, it's not fully proportional, but it's a whole lot more proportional and fairer than the the system we have, uh, and that's, look, that's actually your question, the AV is sufficiently proportional. In a nutshell, I think, is that is always the problem when an idealistic party like the Liberal Democrats goes into power, because when you go into power and you have to do stuff, idealism always collides with reality, and quite understandably, a lot of people found that difficult and disappointing. But I think now that we're not in government, and now that we have a new leader in Tim Farron, who's a fantastically, uh, fantastically gifted leader, I think we do have the opportunity to say, look, we we're proud of the things we did. Some people didn't like some of the things we did, but on the whole, we think we made the country a better country. We helped the country through a very difficult and dark economic chapter in our recent history. We've introduced a whole bunch of things which will stand the test of time. But we now, you know, we're now an opposition party keen to hold a conservative government to account, which is undoing a lot of the good things that we did yeah. in government. Thank you so much for your time. Not at all. Thank you.